All right, howdy, folks. Widget Walls from NeedCoffee.com here. We're back for a sequel of sorts. Uh, I shall explain. I'm going to, uh, it'll be linked on the post if you're watching this on Need Coffee, if you're watching it on YouTube. This should be a response to the previous video, but we did a little taste test uh, trying to see if I could tell the difference between real sugar and high fructose corn syrup. And to recap briefly, um, we did it with Pepsi versus Pepsi Throwback, which is the a real sugar version of Pepsi that they put out from time to time to tease people, and uh, Coke versus Mexican Coke, because Coke made in Mexico is still made with real sugar. So the question was, all things being equal, if we didn't have to worry about health reasons, which I'm still, I can't figure out the data on that whatsoever, but if it didn't matter about your health, could you tell about the taste? Well, not you, me specifically, because I was curious. Uh, Pepsi, I could tell very clearly. Um, but Coke, I had no idea. And this is me, who has been harping on Coke for a long time to make uh, their kosher Coke, Passover Coke, whatever you want to call it, uh, available year-round because people want it. And it seems like it would be good business to do so. Um, but, uh, but I can't tell the difference anymore, so I, I care less for myself. Uh, so, but somebody pointed out, somebody pointed out a bunch of things. People were talking about, well... You know, it could be bottled in different places with a slightly different formula, and that's why it showed up like this. And, and people were like, well, you know, you were, you were drinking out of, you know, a glass bottle with Mexican Coke because that's what it comes in versus, like, plastic. And it was as scientific as we could manage on our meager budget, okay? The Sleep Deprivation Institute has a budget about that big. So, uh, but people said, well, you should try Mountain Dew throwback, and well, I couldn't find any Mountain Dew throwback at the time, by, by the time I had the brilliant idea to do this taste test, um, and they've just reintroduced it, and it just showed up in Atlanta today, uh, so I managed to snag some this afternoon, and uh, we're going to try, we're going to try the, uh, the follow-up part two of our triangle taste test, and just explain <clears throat> how this is going to work. My lovely wife, Cosette, uh, is in the kitchen, where I have, have, uh, Two, I've bought two of each uh, of the 20-ounce bottles of uh, the plastic bottles of Mountain Dew and Mountain Dew Throwback. Um, the bottles are identical, uh, so it's not like before where we had to pour them into glasses to keep me from being able to t t tell by feel. Um, they were put into the fridge at the same time. They should be about the same coolness, okay? Uh, I'm going to use the uh, official taste test blindfold to blindfold myself. Uh, I will not be able to see. This is not staged. I'm, I have no idea what's going to happen, uh, So, I'm, but I'm just curious about it. So uh, she's going to hand me uh, three bottles uh, in succession, and uh, I don't know what order they're going to be in or what, but the triangle taste test is you're supposed to pick the odd man out. <clears throat> and um, if you can tell the difference between them, then, uh, then you can tell the difference between them. And bonus points for me if I can tell uh, which one is the high fructose corn syrup versus the sugar. Um, so what we're going to do is I have some water uh, that I will be able to cleanse my palate with while we go through the three of them. Uh, I have the blindfold. I'm going to go ahead and put the blindfold on now. And uh, this is a little different than the last taste test because you will be able to see what I'm drinking. I will not, so I have absolutely no idea. Um, so let's go ahead with the first bottle. And yes, they're, and, and also they're being opened as they're being handed to me, so they will be completely fresh. <clears throat> All right, so here is Darwin Warren. Hmm, okay. All right, that's interesting. Yes, okay. Yes, the, uh, you do three, well, oh, this is, jeez, <laughs> you, she handed me water. I was like, what in the hell? What if you poured it to a glass? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> that was awesome. I told you I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I, I wasn't even sure how my own experiment was going to work. Mm. Okay. And you do the triangle test because <clears throat> apparently it's easy to do A versus B, but if you've got to pick the odd man out of three, that's that's the challenge. Okay, I got it. Going with number two here. Mm. 
Hmm. Now, if I start talking now and I'm wrong, you'll know instantly and I'll look like an idiot. Although, I don't know what, what I gain by knowing this knowledge. It tastes a little different. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now the water again. Now that I know to expect it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Number three. Ah, uh, that lovely sound. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Number three. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to say that bottle number one was the odd man out. And, God, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, I would, uh, I'm going to just guess and go, number one is the real sugar, and I've got a sneaking suspicion I'm going to be wrong. So, okay, for the record, there it is, and... I'm holding Mountain Dew. What was bottle number two? Bottle number one was the regular Mountain Dew. Here's bottle number one. I guess we could have labeled these to prove that well, you can trust us to help. And this was bottle number two. So, no, I cannot tell the difference <laughs> between high fructose corn syrup and made with real sugar Mountain Dew at all. And God knows I've drunk enough of it in my time. So, uh, there. What does that prove? I have no idea. It just proves that you don't have to feel foolish if you don't feel like going and buying something that says, Yahoo! Mountain Dew throwback on it. Which is really terrifying. It's got a dude in a jug. The jug's exploding and sending, like, the cork through his hat. That's, that's not safe. No wonder they discontinued this design. Anyway, so there you have it. From the, uh... Needcoffee.com testing labs. Uh, we've proven really nothing other than my taste buds are probably shot from uh, from too much coffee. I can tell with a Pepsi throwback, though. So I have that. Anyway. So uh, more tests to come. This is Widget Wallace from Needcoffee.com. Thanks for watching. And uh, whatever your caffeinated beverage of choice, uh, please enjoy it. And whatever your beverage of choice for this New Year's, please enjoy it safely. Bye now. <laughs>